Okay. <laughs> Sonic players and hubris. That is the weakness of Sonic players. Like, just take the guarantee. He's just not play wrong. play your game. He's not wrong. Chill out. <laughs> All right, so this is game Rap two. <laughs> this is game two. Danny's up game one. Let me update the score. Oh, my Ooh, lord. Ooh, okay, he tried it. 
Respectable. He hard read SDI away, though, instead of reacting to it, though. This is another matchup. Man, I this just apparent, I apparently don't believe in Peach, even though I think she's amazing. <laughs> like, I, it, it's so weird. But, like, this is a matchup that, like, oh in my, my mind, she wouldn't do too well. But I know that, like, Mute Ace has, like, been the Steve deleter for, like, a good while. Yeah. So, yeah. like, the only Steve that Mute Ace consistently loses to is Aqua. I think. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just I think goes, he's uh, beaten Aqua before. Yeah, he has beaten Aqua, but that's the only one that's, like, reliably taking sets and games off fair, of Fair, fair. I think it definitely goes to show, like, how, like, the utility of float uh, in this matchup can be, like, really good for, like, with punishing Steve. Because Steve also a pretty slow character. Like, we just saw, like, um, right before the stock was taken, like, forward air on Steve's shield. And uh -oh. he tried to do up smash out of shield, but she no just match. floated to the other side. And, like, he has no option there, yeah. you know? Breaking blocks is so reliable yeah. as Peach, Nair, and forward air can cover the whole thing. You can outvalue Steve in a lot of spontaneous ways like you're doing the same thing he does with his normal combo routes uh, by taking 60 immediately you just lose some of the like crazy burst that Steve can do yeah. with like auto cancel back airs from super high up and minecarts and anvils and the like mm -hmm. but I mean hate it all you want these two characters play very similarly like they're two sides of the same coin in a lot of ways they do want effectively the same thing. I think their like roads to get there are very different and varied. In the case of Steve, he has very inputly different, but not very from like a base like game <gasps> plan. Oh, that barely missed. Oh my god! But you're trying to effectively. Both characters are trying to control the game, accrue a resource that can expand their range, and do maximum damage off of minimum openings. Uh huh. Both characters can really spend a decent amount of time off stage with float and blocks. We yep. up characters can control a limited space incredibly well. Can function off uh, ground. What moves, a like trade! Oh my lord! The only d big difference is that turnips have much more wild type of uh, offensive capabilities thanks to stitch and bombs. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, uh, Steve has better horizontal bursts with minecarts. But, like, this dot eyes is just going to even everything up anyway if he was able to find a hit. I don't know if... St okay, he still has diamond tools on. Yeah. Not a ton of iron, though, and da and no gold is meant to bed. Oh. The pickup there is huge. Awkward drift. Just taking the nair. I like the change up to the platform, but the block hitting in All the right, way. Now it's time to bully him. No, nope. try oh. to... I'm, I'm surprised that missed, honestly. That was a good call out, though, because you saw no iron, had to use Elytra to get back. The forward air was well intended, just mistimed. I, I straight up thought, oh, that's game three. But no, not this time. Oh, getting cooked by the minecart. That was so terrible. Oh, the back air. Not choosing to instead prioritize mm. applying pressure off stage. Powered up minecarts are so tough oh. to deal with. Woo! Gotta be careful. No blocks being placed by Danny, though. Just a back air. That's Lying. very few to work with now. Winky. Everyone counts. Was that a winky face? No. Back yeah, air. that was the winky. Oh, it was a winky face. Nice. Yeah. Is the winky different? I th isn't it just dot eyes? Yeah, it's the same strength as the dot eyes. Oh, yep. Good job, Blue Fair. We are still in it. Going to a game three situation. That it is. Danny taking game one, Blue Fair taking game two. This is a close cool set. A good set from that game two alone. And uh, game three might have, well, game one might have been just as close, if not more so. And this is still only like the loser side of things. These these players are yeah. fighting it with all they've got. Who beat Blue Flare? Um, it, uh, uh, I'll, hold on, I'll put their name in the thing. For we the... saw it. I'm blanking. I'm pretty sure it was a Sonic. We have three today for some reason, which I'm not complaining, but where did they all come from? And none of them are Kamex. It, it was, was Stevenator. Yeah, it was Stevenator, right. And then Blue Fair. Did it show up on the tablet? Uh, yes, yes. it did. The power of technology. So oh, one switch to zombie. Bro. Okay. Yeah, you, got, you got something to say about Steve skins? It, it, no, the, the zombie's fine. I Honestly, low-key, it's the best one. Okay. But... It is the year 2024 in the history of the cosmos. Steve players should not be missing down throw four there. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you have a two hit combo off of a throw, do not miss that. <laughs> Just hit it. Just hit it. <laughs> like, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> like, what do you want? I mean, like, there's nothing more to say. Just <laughs> hit the like, confirm. Just, like, land your combos. Like, if the combo's hard, sure. Like, if you were trying to do, like, up tilt nil to up smash, sure. I can be like, all right, that's a little bit tough. Nils are hard. Oh! Okay, didn't get the uh, big explosion cinematic, so Peach living to survive another day this time. Trying for the footstool anvil as well. Oh, it's shield poked. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah, it's rough. I understand it, though, because you're trying just to, like, block both hits of Anvil. Oh, what? No. I'm very confused. Is that a runoff float cancel? They tried to, like, float cancel fair, but already burned their double jump, maybe? I don't know, just, like, awkward spacing that on stage. That is not the way you want to go out. Yeah, that's rough. So it's just, like, Blue Fair, it's looked good. It just rough bracket and, like, technical error. Mm. Like, a one rough technical error. But, you know, things can change. You could always just, like... Blue can, you know, Peach is certainly a character who can make this sort of comeback. Yeah. I, of that, I am 100% certain. It's just, up just, to Blue Flare to actually perform. Yeah. Just pull a bomb for it. Oh, this is not good. Oh, trying for up tilt instead gets nil. Trying to hit mm. some freaky shenanigans. Yeah, there's... They were applying some mix up there. They were applying, there was some spice. F tilt. Instead of maybe full cancel back air, mm. um, it's just it's just a low <gasps> trying to go on value nil forward smash. I'm not gonna lie, if that were me, I got hit 100 percent That that's, was near instant. That's the shit that Steve players should be learning. Like, hey, I can just make my all of my ground moves my anti-airs. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> nice catch. Let's go, Saturn. He's yeah, keeping it in play. Not like this, bro! <laughs> All right. Did he think the Saturn walked off and instead it turned around instead? <laughs> well, goddamn. Saturn doesn't walk off stage anymore, right? Danny I don't think so. so. He does? Yeah, no, yeah, he's... Oh, okay. I don't know what he... happened. All right, let's go over Saturn to Station 1, I think.